So we're home. Everything is covered in a nice layer of salt. So we are doing a deep cleaning, scrubbing from top to we got the rugs come up. We're gonna do a little deep cleaning on the floors or deep cleaning the rugs. It is deep cleaning time. Scott's outside doing a deep cleaning, getting all the salt off the outside of the boat. I'm getting all the salt off the inside of the boat. And from things you forget about all the time to clean and everything in between. All the spaces in between have salt in them, so time to get her ship shape. Welcome aboard the Space Between. I'm Holly and this is Captain Scott. And we've spent the last three seasons fixing up our Leopard 46 to make her the most comfortable and beautiful charter cat in her class. That's fresh water? Mm -hmm. I don't slosh it off. Mm -hmm. Remember last week when I said the pan's full of water? I know I emptied it last time. Is that pan full of water too? The whole bathroom. I mean, it's it's not as bad as that bathroom, but it's it's up past the. Do you want to turn on the pump? Huh? So not what you want to have waking up to at 2.26 in the morning. And uh, yeah. We, we, we found this. Hashtag boat life. We were sinking, but I guess we kind of are. <laughs> Slowly. Is that going down? I mean, a little bit. Not quite awake yet. Last night was the boat sinking at 2 in the morning. Today, we have Nance and Underwood here on this beautiful blustery day to run the spinnaker main and repair our anchor light. So the culprit of the flood last night was a broken hose. Broken ass hose. So at least we found the problem. We're not and just replacing the hose. We're replacing, we're replacing the whole faucet. And we have one on way. Yeah, here. Is so there good. special marine ones you have to use or is there any that possible do? That's not a special, that's special marine. marine one. Okay. So we got rid of our trashy old anchor light that didn't work half the time. Yeah. And got a new one. Well, I See ya. On and they are almost done. They are done. Look at this thing that they used to hoist themselves up the mast. How come they use that instead of the main winch? Because they use the topping lift that doesn't go back to the... Mm -hmm. So can somebody comment below and tell me the proper etiquette to um, dealing with people that are working on your boat or just coming over on your boat with disgustingly filthy feet? <laughs> um, not mentioning any names, not sure context, but this is entirely clean. I don't know what they're, oh, they're walking on the sides of the boat. It's, I mean, it's not just like a few footprints. I got grease on the sea deck. And like everywhere it is just i don't want to sound like a ungrateful bitch or anything but what, what? i just is there something you should say to people like dude can i give you a rag for your feet or i don't know because now we have 
guests coming today and a filthy, filthy deck. Just like magic, it's fun. Guess who's coming? Dun, dun, dun! No matter what I did, they're still coming. <laughs> Scott hasn't managed to scare them off yet. I haven't tried. <laughs> Pimple's got some constitution. <laughs> and our plan was to go sailing to Miami with the Wibble Butts. However, it didn't work out. It is like six to eight foot seas out there right now, so we decided that wasn't gonna be much fun. So, we are going north on Intercoastal. Maybe to Deerfieldish area. So, maybe to Two Georges at the Cove. That would be fun. They're having a champagne toast and music. So, speaking of music, I got it in the background, which means, I don't know what that means. Anyway, so, something new and different, and hopefully fun and safe. So we headed up the intercoastal. I really love this house. It's a Frank Lloyd Wright, and uh, I love his architecture. But this is my favorite house. We have a new captain at the helm. My golly, man. So we have made it to Two Georges, which is right there. We got fuel right there. They've backed us up twice or three times now to get out of the fuel dump. And yeah, we got here early enough, so because they said it was first come, first serve. But they told us originally we could spend the night, and now they are saying, oh, not. Not going to happen. That's basically what we got. So since we were unable to stay, we decided to head back south, see what that had in store for there us. Behind me, I don't know if you can see. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you can see. Oh, it's focus, focus, focus. We are now at Shooter's Waterfront. Just happened to be driving by. There was a spot open on a dock. <laughs> then Mr. Um, dock master said that sailboats are not allowed in here. I didn't realize that because apparently one time many years ago a guy's mast blew into and damaged some stuff during the wake and the wind and it like it was a monohull and it went and so they've had a no mast rule which I was unaware of. We will not have a problem with our mast going Yes to the side. I assured him that the mast going in there is not going to be a problem so Cross your fingers that the mask does not fall into shooters for whatever reason. Cause hey, how are you? Go to water. Yeah. All right. We don't need water. We're good. We don't need water. Yeah, we, don't need water. Yeah. we have Amanda, and we're gonna do dock side or uh, table side serv service at the boat. So I'm excited. A nice wrap. Oh, bow thrusters. That's a bow thruster right there. Thank Damn. you. No, oh, I'm sorry, you weren't bragging about me. No, no. <laughs> no real captains don't need that. Oh. 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 I call bullshit. Bullshit. They just need two very separate They don't motors. need them, but they like them. Do you have bathrusters on your boat? Yeah. Yes. That's why I fucking with him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? After he drives your boat, he's be like, okay, captains do need a bathroom. Yeah. But look how nice he just. No, he's just sliding right I don't know, he is. He hey, he threw the line a lot better than we did. <laughs> I was gonna say, at least he got to the guy. We did not do so hey, well. She at? did. You missed the first shot. No, I know. She, she did much the better. Several. I did first, yeah. yes. Yes, she did, actually is the one that got it to him. You should have seen looking on kept, his face. Well, because you were trying to throw just the end. Yes. It's like, here, take the whole fucking thing. Yes. Because I was trying to hold the stupid buoy. Yeah. I mean, the fender as well. Really yep. Weird stuff. That's me. Oh, 
Brussels sprouts. We got Thank you. Mon Thank you. Tacos. Thanks, Thank you. We got Thank you. shrimp Thank you. Alfredos, and we got a veggie sushi roll thingy. Tootsie roll. Oh, uh, yum. We've been watching the video going, oh, oh. <laughs> it's only 10 o'clock. <laughs> Wait. For the friends that understand this, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of dirty. Oh, that's real dirty. So you know, you know my you friend know Nick? my Nika, right? Yeah. Okay. He made, he he made that up. He's like, hey, you want two? two he was trying to shots. tell us from behind the bar. He's like, you want two shots? Yeah. So it became a thing. So after that great dinner and the ride back to the house, I got to partake in a few shots. There's really nothing better than getting to hang out on the back of the boat, have a few drinks, and shoot the shit with your friends. Beats waking up to a flooded hull. Shit, that stuff will work you like a rented mule. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> sailing the space between. If you want to get out of your shitty life and enjoy the space between what's out legs. there <laughs> space between her legs then you just need to get her drunk but if you want to enjoy <laughs> life bring that crazy bitch on this boat and have a good time because this is where it's at the space betwixt